That was the one. Oh, that was the one? But that wasn't a one. It was just, it was where's my button? Three, it was a three, two. And then I said, where's my button? And then I said one. We didn't hear that part, guys. Hi, folks. Hey, guys. <laughs> what is up? It is a lovely, very rainy and weather-ridden Wednesday. Yeah. 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 But yesterday was beautiful and sunny and gorgeous. It's still weather. Beautiful and sunny, still weather. It is. Okay. It's just today is is rainy and maybe some tornadoes or some hail or something. I don't know. We got Tony because his other plans got canceled, so that's exciting for us. I'm sure everyone in this room is very happy about that. We're all... <laughs> they Everyone's might be. There may be other people that are. <laughs> well, folks, we are finally back to the chaps. And Denny has has done a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I've basically got them done. I've done a few things. <laughs> All so the finish up stuff. There's a couple of things today. left to do. But yeah, look at these snazzy things, folks. Look at that. So yeah, so we assembled one leg. I'm going to say it's been about two and a half weeks ago at this yeah, point. <laughs> it was. Because it it's been a minute. Month. It was, yeah, it was last month already. Luna's decided she likes me. She loves for everyone moment, after a, a while. Moment. Yeah. She, she comes and goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like she any good woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi. All righty. So if everybody remembers where we were, this is where we are now. Yeah, we I'm were there, to... and now we're here. <laughs> Aren't we, Luna? Yeah. Okay. She's very needy this morning. Denny, basically, I don't even know. Okay, just, you, you help me here. I don't know what's Basically, these things are done other than, yeah, all those things that aren't quite finished yet. All the little pickup jobs is That's what right. we have. I mean, basically, we, we cut out the parts. You cut all the fringe. Well, no, 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 no. You did not cut all the fringe. You cut out the parts, and then you just sewed the appliques yes. on. Sewed the trim on. And you made sure to get your buckle here and your billet here, and then you tooled these, and we sewed those on. Mm -hmm. And then you didn't forget to put these billets and buckles on also. Yeah, I magically remembered that. That's right. So we've got our, or I guess, billets on both ones, and then we'll put the buckles here underneath. Yeah, that's what we're going to do today. That's we're going to put those... Today those buckles on and we're gonna uh, do a fancy lace job on it cool and I might twist some more lace because most of my lace has untwisted itself I need to twist it better I wonder if there's a, a better well I mean it's just upholstery leather so it's not gonna yeah, hold that well no matter what hold. you do yeah but it's fun you know and yeah. if you're bored you can just twist away yeah you can do right. that while you're nervous waiting for something to do just twist your fringe exactly while you're sitting in the bullpen like Ready to go, you can just twist your fringe. <laughs> that could be your, your nervous tip. When people ask what you were doing, you say, oh, I was out there twisting my fringe. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> Not riding a horse. All righty. All right. Whatever it is Let's that people go. ride. Let's do it. All right. Let's do one leg at a time. Let's see you how already come twisted on. that fringe, so you can twist on that if cool. you want to. If you want to. Yeah. Okay. I ain't, got, I ain't okay. got nothing else to do. First off, let's make some decisions. Okay. Let's let you and everybody that's watching decide what color we're going to use here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, right. right. We have options. We've got a concho. We've got this. Okay. Or we've got this. What if we did that, and then that, and then another one of those? Oh, okay. We can do that. Okay. Okay. You guys like uh, that? We'll that's do. That's decided. That's yeah. All right. And for our lace, when we lace our belt, we can lace it with this, or we can lace it with that. Hmm. See, the belt is going to be. Yeah. What is the belt? The belt is going to be here. Oh, uh, you got to do it the other one then. There we go. So that's our belt. Yeah, we got to go with the black. With the black? Mm-hmm. All right. Does it go on top or on bottom? On the bottom. On the bottom. But all the lace is going to be up here. So yeah. It'll be, it's going to be lace something similar to this. Oh, wow. Now, Denny, just before we do this, this is suede. Do that's you think suede. it'll it'll hold up well? It will for, uh, because there's going to be so many different layers of lace on there okay it'll hold up okay well. so we don't suede have to worry is, about using yeah suede is not notoriously the strongest 
material, but when you're doing something like this with this many pieces of lace around through it, it it's will, okay. It'll hold up fine. Perfect. Well then, yeah, I like I like this. I was just gonna take a look at that. But. Oh hey, look at look at. Sorry, that's a good shot right there. Yes, well, the, there. the other piece that you stole out of there, Denny. Oh. Did I stole no, the this piece? Oh. oh, we were gonna look at this. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. What is this called? Do you know what this is called? Uh, arrowhead lace. Let's call it that. All right. <laughs> I, I like we it. We can call it whatever we want. Or like a I'm little, sure someone, like a pine tree lace. Okay. <laughs> we can call it a pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm every, sure someone can tell evergreen. us what to call it. Yeah, guys, what is this called? Tell us what we're doing here. All righty. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, first I'm gonna thing. Sit back. Oh, wait a minute. I need a twirl. You need to twirl. This one. This is the untwirled. Okay. First thing, I need a piece of... Uh, there's, there's. Amy says chevron. That's what you call that lace? That's what she said. Or he. I don't know. Sounds good to me. Chevron. Chevron pine tree. Chevron pine tree. <laughs> All right. Let me get a little Chevron. pattern here. What I'm doing is I'm marking where I'm going to punch the slots for these buckle shapes. Then I'm going to use a half inch bag punch or oblong punch, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> pine tree, pine tree punch. <laughs> I'm just gonna punch two slots here for each one. Right in the wrong spot. Well, I was trying to do it where people couldn't see if I messed up. Just in case. Yeah. Well, you know, Denny, we like to we like to show everybody when you when you mess up too. That's half the fun of this. You all get to see it a lot, don't you? <laughs> <clears throat> all right. I know what you want to do. What do I want to do? You want to do some bleed knots. Ooh, that's Am my I favorite right? kind of knots. Am I right? You are always right. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take, I'll take that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do colored on the top and the bottom and solid in between. Correct? Yes. Make sure your buckle is going the right way. I was thinking of that same thing when you said that. I remember there was one time Denny made some chaps and he had the buckle upside down, I think. Just whatever one we, of them. Just, yeah, just, it was just one buckle that was upside down. It's, you guys, <laughs> it's so simple when you're looking at someone else do this. When you do it yourself, the thing is, when you're doing it yourself, you actually have to think. <laughs> That's rough sometimes. <laughs> But you know, you can get it all set up and then you can wrap the leg around and you can just make sure that everything buckles correctly before you do the bleed knot and secure everything in place. That's a good idea. Right? We'll do that. Okay. We'll let's let's that. show let's let's show them what what to do. Look at those cute little billets. They are cute, aren't they? They are. What are these, half inch wide? Yes, okay. half, in, half inch strings. Whereabouts. All right, now, let's see. Let's make sure we buckle. And guess what? Are they wrong? Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they Don't, are. Do they need to go this way towards the... No, uh, yes, that's right. That's okay. right. See guys, this is why you this is why you double check. No, wait a no. second here. This it goes. Yeah. It, it goes. It's confusing. Yeah, it is. See, that's the thinking part. Is really maybe buckle it in and then see how it works. 
Okay. <laughs> Once it's buckled, then you'll know what way it needs to go, right? Wait a second. Let me think about you, here. here. Let me think about it. Yeah, it needs to go the other direction, but... Your buckle one in. It needs in. to go... Buckle one in. Okay. This is how, this is how you do things. <laughs> I feel like you have the right shoe. That's on. right. That's right. Shaft today. <laughs> okay. Okay. All I got to do is turn it around. Okay. We're going to get there eventually, guys. I don't guys. need to rethread anything, I don't think. <clears throat> That looks a little better. <laughs> Is it on the pattern? Does it tell you which way to put your buckle? No, you're, you're, there again, you're supposed to think. <laughs> you have to use your common sense. Yes. Because Where? how do you explain which way to put the buckle? You put it so it will buckle right. That's the direction you put it in, folks. <laughs> the, the right way. Yes. Not the wrong way. Like, which end of the belt do you put the buckle on? The, <laughs> the buckle end. That's right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now put them on again. Okay. See how we're doing. Yeah. Wrap it around. <laughs> That's right. That is correct. That is and correct. Thread it through. Work. And it comes around. Whoa, yeah. hey. Yeah. And then they just kind of flop out there, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. That way you can okay. grab them and jerk them. We got out. it. So the buckle goes upside down towards the fringe. Right. Upside down towards the fringe. Like the overhead will show you. There it is. <laughs> upside down towards the fringe. Yeah, and, and I will use a, a heel bar roller buckle for this because it's so much easier to work. Yeah. And bull riders and, and bronc riders, they like something that they can just get rid of really quick because a lot of times they get hung up with their shafts. Oh. And so you need they want to be able, to, get be able to jerk it loose. Sure. You know. Plus, you, need, you need quick release chaps. Quick release, yes. <laughs> something they can run in and get out of quick. You don't want to be stuck in those chaps after you've been thrown off a bull. All right. <clears throat> Let's put these conchos on. Those are so pretty, Denny. They are fancy, aren't they? They sure are. They're even going to be prettier when you get done with this part. What we can, if we sell these. We can give them the other the other ones that I cut. That way, they can interchange if, okay. if they want to. They wanted to get wild, you know. They could customize. You can customize yeah. your chaps. It's like spare parts for yeah. like That's accessory right. chap accessories. That's right. All right. Do you want to do the bleed knot on those? Cool. Or well, if you've got spares. We have spares. That way, if I mess it up, I can do it again. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Start with the bottom one. Now, when you do, you start with the bottom. No, nope, I would start turn with the top? it. I would turn it around. Okay. And start with the top. I would start with that one and then end up with the bottom. Okay. And how many knots do you like to do? Two or three? Just two. Just two. That's my preference. Hey, 
people do like to see struggle too sometimes, Danny. They like to see struggle, boy, they get their wish on this show. I think it makes them feel better. <laughs> Come on. Generally, we don't struggle quite this bad when we do it. I asked Denny this morning, I said, do you remember what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer was no. Nope, I forgot two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Upside down and towards the fringe. Inside just a little when you have to put a hole through your tooling. Oh, no, not anymore. It used to be painful. <laughs> it's not now. <clears throat> well, and I mean, a when you're tooling it, I'm you're tooling it with the with the knowledge that you're about to cover most of it up. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'm glad to stab it. You know? <laughs> They're like, man, that that was a stinky yeah, part right here. It needs a good going <laughs> over. It needs a good going over. <laughs> All right. And the thing is, if you will notice, I'll turn this over and show you something as far as my tooling goes. I didn't tool all this because I knew I was going to cover it up with this concho. Oh, yeah, you sure did. You just left a loop there. Yeah. 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 So he just he just left his little ends ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause there's no point. Looks pretty. Yeah. I'm only slightly afraid of cutting myself. <laughs> but, you know. Always cut away from yourself. To avoid getting bloody, cut towards your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'll tell you what's confusing is when all the fringe and all these strings are all jumbled up together. <laughs> Hard to know where you're looking. Yeah. All quiet today. What's the matter with you? Is everybody drowsy from the rain? Is anybody out there? <laughs> Are we alone? Paula said she made some shafts for handling firewood. They were playing. Yep. Andrew said, Why is everyone so quiet? Well, how much are a set of shafts like this worth? As much as you want them to be worth. Yeah, whatever you can get out of them. That's what a guy told me one time. Uh, I'm just over here doing I don't know. stuff. I'm you get, to say why. You've got to figure out what your material is. And uh, yeah. for this, probably 150 for the for the leg of the shafts. And probably that much for the, 
for the trim. It takes a lot of trim to do something like this. Mm -hmm. So you probably got two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollars in material. Plus your time. Plus your time. I mean, and if you go online and, and find find a pair of uh, uh, bronc shafts like this, you're looking at uh, six or seven hundred dollars. I would imagine easily. Ooh, I pulled this one up really tight. <laughs> That'll be all right. Okay. <laughs> That'll be okay. Don't break. You did pull it up tight. I it sure needs, did. It needs to be tight because it will never be tighter. Right. Well, and that's what that's what I was just trying to give it some because these are like oh I feel like they're a little wobbly but yeah. they're probably all right. Yeah, that looks great. Great job. Thanks, Denny. Can I do it again? You can do it again. I hope you do. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm going to do while you're doing that is punch the holes in the yolks so we can start lacing these. Got everybody facing the right way. All of our buckles are upside down facing the fridge. spring punch with this bottom row I'm going to have to pull the drive punch. Can Liz explain how she's tying? Sure. This is called a bleed knot. It's my favorite knot. It's a lot of fun. This is a bleed knife. This guy right here. So it's an Osborne tool that we sell. It is specifically designed to cut slots in half inch strings. Yes. Okay. You can use it for other widths if you want, but you have to modify how you use it yeah. if you do. So the, the width of the blade right here is the perfect, it's probably half inch. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's it, or a hair less, maybe. Look, we have rulers. I can tell you. So the width of this blade is a half inch. Yeah. Yeah. So it is right at a half inch, which means that when you stab it through the leather, you're going to be cutting. If you cut from here to where the blade is at its widest, which is how far you cut, um, you will cut a half inch slot in your... It's hard to see on this one. So, what you cut. You, mm, you can cut it. Hmm? So, you, st you stab it through like this with the blade pointing up. Right. Through the slot. Or, I mean, through the leather to create your slot. So, vertically into your leather. And then, you're going to bleed. So, you cut the top one. You're going to put your bottom string through your top string and you're going to pull it nice and tight and that's going to be your first bleed knot. Yeah, yeah and you have to twist it where it's, it's yeah. horizontal rather than vertical. Exactly, exactly. You want this you want this pinch to be coming out laying flat as you can. Yes. Yeah, laying flat. So you kind of that'll the the little thing. And then this blade is also very fat at the back side and it opens up the, the back of the slot so that you can easily like this leather is pretty happy because it's it's pretty thin yeah. but if you're working with like veg tan or like the latigo strap sometimes you can if you cut it just with an exacto knife it's all like yeah. you just have a slit then, you, then you'd have to use a spike or something like that to open, waller it out to waller it out that's yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this this if you don't have one of these you can just cut a half inch slit if you have if you're using a half inch wide string. Now you can do it with different width strings. You just need to cut the slot as wide or as long as this the string is wide. Yeah. That's the rule of thumb. Yeah, if you're using a, a smaller string like a 3 8 string, you wouldn't want to shove your knife all the way through. Yeah, yeah. And then if you need a bigger one, you can cut it with this and then you can continue it yeah. with an exacto knife if you need yeah, or you can kind of just open it up. A yeah, little. keep yeah. cutting it. Um, but yeah, and so then you can do this forever yeah. for your whole length of your string. So then you're going to go, now you have this one as your top one. So this is the one that we just cut. This is now your top one. So this is going to be the one that I cut now. You're going to, you're going to put this knife right as close as you can get into that last slot. And you're going to cut through this one. 
the same way that you just did. There it goes. All the way through, just try to center it as best you can. It's not to the end of the world. If it's not perfectly centered, nobody's gonna see it. And you just thread that bottom one through. Once again, once you get it through, you wanna make sure that it lays as flat as possible. And then you got a bleed knot. Looks wonderful. Yeah. Looks and then good. You could just keep going. Like I did Luna's, I did Luna's collar with these, and you just have two. Um, I think I did it for the turn back. So instead of like riveting the turn back down, I put the buckle in there and then I just bleed knotted it back out. And that's how I secure it. It eliminates hardware. Exactly. No hardware to rust out in the rain. Yeah. Or in the other dog slobbers. <laughs> Denny, what weight of tooling did you use? The the leather for the yokes, uh, I used, I believe, a six to seven ounce. I don't like to use very heavy leather on, on the yokes and, and the belt and leg yokes for something like this, especially because I've already got two layers of uh, uh, probably three to four or four to five ounce leather that I'm going through. Yeah. So... You know, if I use a six seven, on it, you know, it works out pretty well. Too thick just gets bulky. But there again, use what you've got. Yeah. Probably if you had a five six, that'd be fine. Yeah, five six would be fine. Mm. Luna does not agree with five six ounce. Don't use what you got. Get more leather. It's Springfield leather. <laughs> What are you doing down there? You got it so bored. <laughs> got a ballpoint pen. Luna is not uh, thrilled. Is there something on the wall behind you? Yeah. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out where you're at, Denny. He's right here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, I left for a while, but I'm back. <laughs> Just, I've got this is a, an adjustable belt you know you can you can take it up or, or let it out whatever you need to do but I'm just going to make this at the shortest point right now and if whoever ends up with these if anyone ever ends up with them they can change it if they want but but for now we'll make it fit me yeah <laughs> we'll lace this one and then you can put them on and see see how close we are all right Get a point on each end of this string. I'm going to start on the back side. I there we go. Can we see that little sample deal? Of course. I brought this sample in because I don't do this a whole lot very often and I forget how to do it. <laughs> so if I have something to look at, I can... You won't have to do it twice. Yeah. Well, I might. <laughs> <laughs> That's yet to be seen. Well, what are you doing under the table? We're doing this pine tree stitch here. Yes. All right. And I started. You're good. Let, let me get it. I started from the back side. Just went through with both pieces. I'm coming out here now. I'm going to go to the middle because I've got three rows of holes. I think that was your nose. Hmm? Denny, would you rather do the overhead? Oh, I or do you, know. Are you good here? I'm good, okay. if, I'm good if you're good. Okay. Is everybody good with that one? Mm. Let's do the overhead. Okay. Now I'm just going to go all the way down one side. 
You're going to make one side of your tree first? Uh, yeah, one side of this okay. pine tree at a time. We don't want it to get confused. <laughs> She just barely has her head out from under the table, and she's just giving us the eye. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we have good doggy times in here. We do have good doggy times. It's because we got the best dogs. How much lace are you using, Denny? All of it. Uh, yeah, every bit of it. Uh, let's see here. I think I've got about four feet. I've got about four feet of lace here. Let's see how much I end up with. Okay. Well, I, I just cut this off of the, the trim that I was using. I just cut a good long piece where I was pretty sure I was going to have plenty. Because I hate to end up short. And is that quarter inch? What it looks like. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, quarter, three eighths. A big, a big fat lace looks pretty good. I, I was going to say like I really like that yeah. blue that you've got over there. That yeah. sample from the the last pair of chaps that we did. Yeah. I recognize those leathers. Yeah. <laughs> and when I did that, I just made that sample piece. And I knew someday I might need it again. This is a good reference piece. All right, now I'm going through this last hole. Okay. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the excess yet. But we'll do the other side and then figure it out. So you took uh, your four feet, you centered it. Yes, I centered it. Okay. Now I've got this spike, and I'm just going to kind of stretch out that middle hole a little bit so I don't have any trouble getting this through. This is such a great looking lace. Isn't it beautiful? Your lace job is impeccable, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, thanks. We, we picked good color combinations. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to look neat. I wasn't sure if it would be overkill or not, but I don't think it is. It's underkill. Underkill, yeah. <laughs> We didn't quite get it killed yet. No. We we like our chaps like Denny's wife likes her steak. Rare. <laughs> Rare. <laughs> Still knowing place. <laughs> That's like on that movie, The Cowboy Way. Did you ever see that? Uh-uh. They were it was two cowboys from Arizona in New York City. And they went in and ordered a mistake. And the waitress said, how do you want it? And he said, knock his horns off and wipe his hind ends. Put it on a bike. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I want a cold. <laughs> I want I want it body temperature. <laughs> <laughs> if you just carved it up, that's perfect. Yeah. Just bring it on out. Yeah. Chad might Chad might not be able to handle that. Captain No Fun likes his steak medium well. He, he likes to like belting leather. <laughs> <laughs> Chewy and dry. I've he, had it rare too many times, and it's just not good. <laughs> it's a rare occasion that you like it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Captain No Fun knew that was coming. <clears throat> he could, hey, he could Chad, feel it. I like my steak well done. Denny, you're, you're lacing That's out of now. view here. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to be out of view. That's how I like it. I don't like it when it's in Oh. It freaks me out. Oh. It's like bloody and yeah. I'm like absolutely not. Absolutely you guys shouldn't be allowed to eat steaks. I oh. do eat it sometimes, but I <laughs> should eat it <laughs> chicken. I like chicken more. Or Just fish. En enjoy your ground beef. I don't eat it very often. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, Fish people. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? I said these are fish people. No, I hate fish. 
You don't like fish either? No, I'm a very picky person. So wait, you, you give me some of that that salmon cut right off the fish. Don't don't cook that at all. I'll eat that all day long. <laughs> some really salmon sashimi. Salmon. Oh my gosh, I oh, love it so much. Mmm, mm-hmm. I can eat a whole plate. Yes, please. So good. <coughs> okay. I'll take two helpings and I have to. <laughs> All right, now I just went back through these last okay, holes you also one went more back. time. Yeah. And I did that out of sight okay. <laughs> so you guys couldn't see. Now, what I'm going to do is go through this loop here, if I can get this lace through. I have confidence in you. Thank you. Could you use a um, one of those big permalock needles? You could. Okay. So somebody, if you're real struggling, you might try those those long permalock needles where you just kind of twist the thread into the end and you can shimmy it under there. Okay, I've got a whole lot left there. That's more than I want. Okay. I'm going to cut it off about right there. Uh, Samantha said, Denny, your wife likes her steak like a good veterinarian can bring it back to life. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I hope she's watching that. That's good. I'll make sure she does. <laughs> uh, do, you run, do you run your list through saddle soap first? Uh, Not that. Yeah, if it was a latigo lace or something like that, yeah. I probably would. But this, I'm I'm not because I don't want to. You're gonna take off all that foil. Yeah, because I don't want it. Okay, now I'm just. You want this? No. Okay, I didn't Thank think you. so. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here for you. <laughs> I'm just tapping this and flattens this lace out to make it so it's not just a bunch of lumps there. Alrighty. And of course, with some more tassels. So he left about six, seven inches here. So you can have just a little bit more fringe. Yeah. Just a little, a little more. more. That's All right. right. Let's, Next. Let's buckle. Are we going to put these legs together? Let's, let's uh, no, buckle it about like this and have you put it around your waist. We'll see where I need to go with the other side. There we go. I'm just going to lace it all the way up. Okay. Just like I did that. See? And that's good. That's good? That's very good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> As I fall over the table. <laughs> I'm trying not to step on our leather for tomorrow. Be nice to the leather. Get your legs wrangled there. Oh, we want that back. Yeah, I will. Make, I'm first, I have to bunch these. Yeah. Doing the other side? Hmm? Doing the other side now? Doing the other side, okay. yes. So same thing, just reverse. And that'll be. Almost upside down towards the lace. I mean, towards the fringe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was busy doing something. I was making a new emote for Twitch. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You look a little scared in there. <laughs> what? Wow, Grandpa! Why don't you show your face on camera. <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> I'm Chad. I eat my steak. Well done. <laughs> that way, don't get caught in my pictures. <laughs> That's a good little fix it in on there. Chad. I think I think Tony's a little salty Jeez. that he's not playing in the rain today. <laughs> Are you, are you missing this this rainy drive all the way up to Iowa? You'll have to get the tube out. <laughs> you got the ship on that. Uh, no, I am not missing this. I'm going to drive six hours, do two softball games, and then drive six more hours. <laughs> you that guys can't see that, but... <laughs> it was going to be fun. Almost, almost. There it is. Speak <laughs> <laughs> to us. And now we just pop it in the end and... Hello. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it wasn't going to be fun. I sent my crew that I was supposed to be working with, and I was like, here's what my drive looks like, and it was from it was from the Twister movie, with, when the cow goes flying by the window. <laughs> <laughs> Where were all they going to be coming from? Uh, one was from Chicago, and the other one was from Ohio. So you were the farthest one out? Yes. By an hour. Because uh, you still got to drive through the whole state of Indiana Yeah. to get to Illinois. Illinois. I know what, how your geography is. Yeah, I'm, it's shoddy at best. <laughs> <laughs> at best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 
without Google, I don't think I'd be anywhere. I mean, if I'm in Springfield, I am good to go. Um, if I'm anywhere else, I am not. You want to see the new emote that I made? Again? Sure. Do I have to? Oh, there it is. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you do look a little young there, Tony. <laughs> Little what? fresh, little fresh face. Just a young kid. Just <laughs> a young kid. Doing great things. I can't get Being my, super humble. I can't get my screen back. <laughs> <laughs> look looking young. I look like me. Uh, There's literally a picture of me. Is there anybody even in the Twitch chat? Well, well, Denny, it's the wrong side, sir. <laughs> it certainly was. That's okay. You didn't get far. No, it could have been worse. <laughs> and probably will be at some point here. And that is a lot of holes. A lot of holes. Well, some people are tall and thin. Some are short and fat. <laughs> no, no tall, fat people in here. Well, some are tall and fat. Some are short and thin. <laughs> Again, we have to cover all our bases here. <laughs> to be politically correct. I guess short and fat and tall and thin is not politically correct, is it? I don't know. It's probably anatomically correct. <laughs> <laughs> Descriptions. Uh, I'm quite distracted thinking about this. <laughs> My fat head in the way? No. Well, Some, sometimes there it was. That's a change. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, like I did the other time, I'm just going to do one side first. I guess you always do one side first, don't you? You can't it, I mean, do both sides yeah, first. Yeah, we only have the two hands, so it's difficult to do more than one thing at a time. It's even difficult for me to do anything at a time. <laughs> That's all right, Denny. He was worried that we were going to have to fib some of this hour, but I don't think that we will. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be just fine. <clears throat> just about got it. Maybe the sound of the rain has lulled everybody at home to sleep. Boy, I've been able to sleep really good while it's raining. I love the rain. Yeah, I love me too. The air yeah. while I'm trying to sleep. My parents' house when I was growing up, they remodeled their house when I was in second or third grade, and we put on a steel roof. Oh, nice! And um, yeah, so it was it was a really interesting like roof material. It's a, a it was these huge panels. Like probably like twice the size of the, this table, and these huge white panels that are uh, steel, six inches of styrofoam, and then another layer of steel, and they clip together. They're, it's it's very interesting. Wow. Yeah, and so they they remodeled the upstairs, literally tore off the entire second story of our house because it was mostly attic space, and there was like one room up there. Tore off the whole thing and then rebuilt it up. And it took us all summer, and it never rained once. Oh, no. <laughs> that whole summer, we were extremely fortunate. By the end, like, the neighbors were begging us to finish because they were like, it's not going to rain until you finish your house. <laughs> and you need, to, you need to put that roof on because we need some water. Um, but in any case, so after they got that done, I mean, you couldn't hear a thing when it was raining, but it was lovely. <laughs> like, my brother was up there, and he had a whole, like, you know, TV room situation going on. We were... Because he lived at home for quite some time. 
after he was an adult and he kind of <laughs> took over a lot of the space up there. Should we talk about this a little bit? <laughs> and, um, Another work turn counseling. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then after, because I was the youngest of the family, so I finally got to, it was like, like once my my next oldest brother moved out, I got to move upstairs. And it was like, it was like the graduation thing when you finally got to like live upstairs and not be downstairs, you know? And so when I, when I moved up there, that was, it was really creaky. So like sometimes it was a little spooky because the, the roof would pop and creak and make all these noises. Uh, but man, when it rained, I can sleep through anything because of that roof. Like, it was thunderous, but I loved it. Thanks for the follow, Jacqueline Kirk. Ooh, that's a good shot. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, that's very nice, Tony. Look at that. I'm just over here doing computer things. You're so good at them. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best at all the computer things. Ah, uh, oh, no, no, no. Go, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> Don't stop now. <laughs> yeah, we got 15 more minutes. Let them let them keep flying. Please don't, Liz. <laughs> You're good. We can I accept them graciously. With his crown on. Okay. <laughs> if you guys can see. We have to deal with them all day. You don't have to. There's a door. <laughs> Isn't he so lovely, guy? <laughs> uh. And this is the tame side of it. Oh, yeah. This is, this is like the fun. This is live version totally Tony. Yeah. Live this, is, version. yeah. <laughs> this is filtered Tony. Yeah. Which is difficult for him to do, so feel lucky. <laughs> uh, we all have a good time. I'm super excited to wear these all day. Is that what you're going to do? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Where else do you get away, chat? Exactly. Shaps. Shaps. Mo Molly says it's better living in the attic than the basement forever. That's right. Yeah. I would it's not want to have lived in the basement because it was full of, of bugs and spooky things down you there. Just turn that joker into man cave. I don't love bugs. I don't love bugs at all. Well, they have... No, I don't. There was... We had like a sump pump down there, so when it rained like this, it flooded a little it and then the sump pump would turn on yeah no it was <laughs> downstairs was scary I, I hated when tornadoes came through and i had to go down there because there was just like there was like a crawl space that you could see under the house that was like open you know a little bit so you could get in under like the kitchen for all the plumbing and it was just creepy in there and i knew that there were spiders waiting to get me <laughs> And of course, the only time tornadoes come through is the middle of the night. So then you're sleepy and it's dark. Mm, mm, mm. It's a good song. Is it? Yeah. Denny, I feel like every time you're in here, you bring a different head knife with you. <laughs> well, <laughs> you just pull one off the wall. I, you know, I, I used one for a while and I thought, man, why haven't I been using this? So I'll use it for a little bit and then I'll. Be like, man, I haven't used this one in a while. Yeah, I think I'll use it. <laughs> That's the most <laughs> special one right there. Yeah, this one is special. It's got your heart. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has my heart. Uh, All right. Hey, we've got an assembled pair of shaps. And Tony's just going to leave us on the, the weird angle. No, there he goes. There's the, there they are, folks. I like the lace. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Try them out. All mm, right, I'm gonna put these suckers on. Gotta make sure they fit. They're heavy chaps are heavy. All their especially, fringe. Yeah, when you especially when you use upholstery. They're close to two full sides of leather on it. <laughs> got, got a whole cow here. <laughs> Oh, find that buckle. You don't don't want to buckle your fringe. I think these are the best fitting pair of chaps yet. Are they? <laughs> They're made just for you. What's the next project? 
Um, I think Friday, Friday, aren't we going to do some car rides? I think you're right. I think that's what I told you earlier. I believe that's why and I then remembered it. I remember that somebody had requested some some um, Spanish braiding, right? Oh, round braiding. Round, yes. Yeah, Spanish round braiding. And so oh, I think I've got round. yeah, I think I've got Spencer up on the docket. I will let him know, and maybe next. I thought about. Oh wait a minute, we're gonna do that Voyager. We are not the Voyager. Explorer backpack. The Explorer backpack. But then I also set up that uh, one video where we may make another dock kit, but we use um, mixed media, so Ooh. other and canvas. Mixed media. Charles That's what we call that. it in art. Charles, Charles said what? Charles said that you need to get your fringe vest with your fringe chat. Oh, that's too much fringe. <laughs> oh, it looks good. All right, I need to move that stool out of the way. Now you got to do a table place. dance for yeah, us. Yeah, can you stand up on the table? Charles. <laughs> Jockey. <laughs> All right. What I meant was get on top of the table and show them off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to dance, just stand on the table. Yeah, just stand. <laughs> There, there they are. It's a little blurry, Tony. Well, that's because I keep focusing on oh, but, Denny. Whoa. Move. Oh, hey, because Denny, you need oh. a scooch back. <laughs> Get out of the camera. Right, Go home. <laughs> Get out of here. We're done with you. You, you did your job. I really, so I really like how the, like the, the insides yeah. are blingy. Yeah. Yeah. A little bling on the inside. Yeah. I've forgotten about that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a horse to ride, but I'm ready. Tony? We got a saddle. Please. Let's go. It's a little rainy. <laughs> it will be very, very wet because I don't think that they have their rain sheets on. No, that would be. Oh, the, the Have horses. you ever tried to dry off a horse before? I have dogs. Does that count? Yeah, now you, multiply it by you like use, 10. Yeah, you, but you use one of those sweat, sweat scrapers. Scrapers. Yeah. It gets a lot of it off, but not all. Yeah, it doesn't dry them. <laughs> Should have worn my boots. But I didn't want to wear my boots because it was raining today and I don't like to get them You could have worn your rain boots. Yeah, but they have like fleece in them, but they're like legit like winter kind of snow boots and they're hot. When There's we, a lot of caveats. Okay, to I got to tell you a story. Okay. When we went to Hot Springs, we were going to go uh, uh, dig crystals at uh -huh. one of the crystal mines, right? And my wife, we got down there and she said, oh no, I forgot my digging shoes. All she had was sandals. Oh, no. So we went to the local Walmart, mm -hmm. and hunted all over, because she just wanted something junky that she could get muddy and nasty, you know. Yeah. Hunted all that over. That was hard to find at Walmart? <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't, actually. <laughs> but we found this pair of tennis shoes for about $10, and she was going to buy those. And then we went by this end cap on the shoes, and mm -hmm. it had these clearance shoes oh had a pair of pink rubber boots oh my gosh this tall i mean pink pink with fur around the top for one dollar she said those are mine put these tennis shoes back and that's what she dug crystals in <laughs> mary june <laughs> she's, she's she's got them at home they're her prized possessions Pink boots with Pink fur boots on top. With fur on the top. Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> for a dollar. A one dollar. Have you and ever nine bought cents. anything at Walmart for one dollar? You can't even do that at the dollar store now. I know. Everything's a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. It's more than your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hear. What type of leather is used to make a weight for tooling? Josh just used veg tan, or Denny has got some deer tanned. Uh, you like deer tan cow, or just like deer leather? Um, something that's smooth and flexible. Yeah, yeah something yeah. just real drapey. Don't use yeah. embossed leather or something with like a really heavy grain on it, because your leather is typically wet while you're tooling. Yeah. And if you have this really heavy weight that has a lot of character on the leather that's just going to make an impression in your wet veg underneath so yeah. smooth and you're right about flexible. the oil tan don't use oil tan. no because that's no good either yeah yeah so you can use like a milled veg tan or the deer tan <coughs> leather or a piece of deer skin mm -hmm. if you've got or, one of that laying around yeah. so let's see here yeah it's not it's not gonna leave marks It'll just like it, if it's if it's an oily yeah. oil tan, the oil will seep out, yeah, and you don't it'll want that. Leave an oil stain. Yeah. yeah. 
On the top of the leg opening, can you cut the leg leather longer and make it a rolled edge instead of adding a piece of French? Of course you can. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. It would be nice. You'd have to alter your pattern a little bit, but, to, but yeah, that would be very nice. I've done that before. So is he talking about on the inside? Yeah, uh, that, that part there, that reinforcement. This? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, gotcha. Just roll this whole edge? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, from right here, you would just have to come out like a half inch or so. Gotcha. Uh, Randy's saying the buckle in the front looks lower than usual. No, well, you're just wearing them kind of low. Well, she's got them really low. Well, my pants are pretty high. Like, I've got high-waisted pants on, so that's probably affecting how yeah, low it looks. Yeah, but you're still going to wear them <clears throat> higher than that. Mm. Probably not. That's it's yeah. it yeah. probably not. <laughs> my pants are really high. Women wear <laughs> pants different than men. <laughs> I have to have my belt for like my high waisted pants versus my belt for my like low rider pants because there's two very different sizes. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave them on. That was my that was my goal. Yeah, today. looks good. Uh, Let's see, so we got um, Carve Rights, Friday. And then next week, Backpack click. set with yep. the Explorer backpack set. Next week, hopefully. And then uh, Dot Bag with Canvas Top. And then the 29th is uh, Denny and Kevin and the trading card again. But I won't be here for that week. I'm going to be in Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coming up so quick. Which one? In California or Florida? Disneyland is in California. Disney World is in Florida. Okay, well. I'm so Denny, you got to get your Disney's right. I'm so sorry. It's kind of like get those chaps and shaps. Oh, <laughs> once you get that right, he'll yeah. get his Disney right. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> and that is easy. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't see any other questions. All right. Uh, Andrea says, put a saddle on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could be the, she was saying I could be the horse. Oh. Negative, <laughs> Anything else you would like to talk about? Not really. I mean, we're an we covered it. Uh, yeah. You guys should know everything there is to know right now. You know it all. Yeah. We're we'll good. Know. We've, they know it all. We'll put all these videos We've succeeded. Together. We've told them everything yeah. that we could tell them. Yeah. We'll put all these together and make a playlist out of it. For all the chap chaps. Yeah. And if you haven't gone on our Facebook under the education tab, mm -hmm. can everybody hear me? Do I need my tube? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you just come hang out with us? Yeah. Come say hi. Yes. All right. Look at this Without pretty face. Without your tube. <laughs> You can just stand up here. <laughs> oh. uh, so if you go on our website under the education tab on YouTube, I put all the recent video playlist on there. Mm -hmm. And then also all the videos that we did free patterns on. Are Those there. are there. And you can click on it and get the PDF. It's pretty snazzy, guys. It so is. go check that out. Yeah. And then also we're getting the uh, digital patterns up and running. We sure are. All right. A few flaws that are coming up, but we're fixing them as they come. Guys, it has been a years-long process to work on these digital downloads. Yeah. So we are just really happy to be where we're at. If you do have any issues with those, just shoot us an email. Let us know when we are trying to kind of troubleshoot as we go. Yeah, sometimes I've been uh, there's been a couple <coughs> things pop up where the it times out where they can't download it. Just mm -hmm. shoot shoot the teams a message. We'll make sure that you will confirm the order that you have, and then we can just send you the file, just the same file that you would download. Right. Yeah. So. We're working on it. It's coming along. It's happening. Technology is fun. When it works. So when it works. And sometimes it just yeah. doesn't. Yeah, man, if you guys have problems with it, just ask me. Yeah, Denny will let you know. <laughs> Denny has Denny's an email really address. good with technology. Denny has an email address, but I have to print the emails off for him. And then he writes it on paper. And then I made, a, I made I scanned it in my computer and then sent it to the, the guy so he can have your handwriting. <laughs> if, and that's how I they will respond to you. If I had email. a dictaphone, I would just dictate. <laughs> like a doctor? Like yeah. a doctor? I think yeah. you can do that on your cell phone, you know. Like you can it. record. And then just... And then email it to Tony. Denny doesn't do no, technology. I'll probably just write it down. 
<laughs> All right, let's check one more time for questions. Okay. We will be over on Twitch, probably finishing setting up our leather for tomorrow for the live sale. So if anybody's interested to hang out with us there, jump over to Twitch and you'll get to kind of see what we'll be selling tomorrow. Um, and then... Joshua we... said he appreciated the written reply. Aww. All right. Very nice. And then... um wants my shirt. In October, we'll probably do the pink shirts again, and everybody has a, another chance to get one. Yeah, I think I like this one better with the white printing on it and mm -hmm. the navy shadow, because we just yeah. did the other one one color. Yeah, no, I, it's a nice one. I'm the only one that has one of this print. Hey. Hi, Tony's so special. Yeah, it's because I'm so humble. All right, join us on Twitch. Okay. We're going to have to party. Bye, guys. See you, guys. Thanks for joining. <laughs>